In my 20s, I used to eat garbage. And now in my 30s, I've never felt more balanced, more energetic. My diet has been so much better. Some of you in my last videos were asking me to share recipes, but today I would like to focus a little bit more on the basic idea in how we should eat to become a healthier human being. So let's get right into it. I've tried vegetarian, I've tried keto, I've tried even vegan. None of those things really worked for me. And from a biological standpoint, humans are omnivores, which means our bodies are designed to eat a variety of foods. We shouldn't avoid any kind of foods. You might risk being deficient in certain chemicals in your body. It's all a game of moderation. The point is to eat everything, but focus on high quality elements, high quality fat, high quality fiber, vitamins, and good protein. When it comes to protein, a great source of protein is fish. For example, salmon, who also has a lot of good fatty acids and omega-3. Good protein gives you a lot of fuel for your brain, your skin, your muscles, and so on. I, I love an occasional steak or fatty pork, but the key is moderation and the key is timing. Now let's talk about fats for a moment. Not all fats are bad. The key is try not to eat saturated fat. And the second thing is if you look at the kind of fat that won't melt at room temperature, most likely it's going to clog your blood vessels. Good fats are essential for your body. Let's say avocado, nuts, and fatty fish. Another thing that I have learned to like, I got into eating more kinds of plants, certain kinds of plants. It's best to be consumed when it's raw. Just make sure you clean it well. And there's always a great way to make a salad. The easiest way to do it is just olive oil, salt, pepper. You can put some balsamic vinegar and it tastes really nice. Some of you might ask, okay, I understand all that, but I order Wai Mai all the time and I never really know what's in those Wai Mai. I heard a very interesting qu quote from a documentary that I will recommend to you, which is called Cooked. Michael Pollan quoted a nutritionist. You can eat whatever you want, but there's one condition. You have to make those things yourself. Cooking is such an important thing to do for your health. It's an incredibly enjoyable process. And once you start cooking your own food, you naturally become more aware of what you put in it. I know there's a lot of people that are saying, I don't have time to do that, but there's meal prep. You prep for the whole week. You put them into little boxes. You stick them into a freezer. If you don't have a freezer big enough, buy a separate freezer. This is going to change your life. I also go to school every week and I have to stay on the campus overnight. We do not have microwave oven. So I will cook a lot of food one day before I actually go to school and I will put them in a bento box. And then I also bring a breakfast the next morning. So I'm going to show you what I'm bringing in a place where there's no microwave oven and uh, what I actually put in my breakfast to ensure that I have a good quality breakfast with good carbohydrates, with good fat. You can just add hot water in it and make it into a healthy meal for the mornings. So let's just summarize the kinds of food tips that I have learned. Variety is key. Make sure that you stay an omnivore, but just make sure that every source of your food is high quality. Focus on whole foods. Choose your foods that are close to their natural state, not processed too much. If you buy something that's processed from the supermarket, make sure you just flip it over and take a look at the ingredients list. Whatever is on the top has the most amount in it. If you see a lot of sugar of MSG, try not to buy that product and switch to something that's healthier. Moderation. It's okay to enjoy your favorite kinds of food. Even workout fanatics have cheat days. When you are going back to your own routine, eat in moderation. Cook at home whenever you can. Cooking has become one of the most satisfying activities in my life. The fact that we're cooking at home is beneficial in so many different ways. 
improves a kind of human skill that has been there for millions of years for survival. You're more mindful of what you put into your food. You're saving money. You're buying only raw ingredients, so the cost will be much less. And when we actually go out to eat, we will be more mindful of what kind of restaurants we actually go to, making sure that it's the kind of restaurants that are worthy of us to pay for their food. Again, I'm not a nutritionist, but I hope my experience can give you some ideas to feel happier. Healthier, energetic. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and follow me. And remember, you can always go to my shop, private message me, click the link below, or become my WeChat video account member so you can get to my weekly live stream and also get my class bundles. I'll see you guys next time in Shine English, Shine English. Bye.